Saul was in a real hurry on his way to Damascus. He was one of the men who persecuted the followers of Jesus to put them in prison. While Saul rode along with his soldiers beside him, a loud voice shook the ground and a bright light surrounded him, completely blinding his eyes. He fell to the ground and he heard Jesus' voice saying, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul was frightened and said, Who are you and what do you want me to do? He answered, It's me, Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Go into the city and there I will tell you what to do. Saul was very surprised by what had just happened to him, so he asked the soldiers to take him to the house of Judas. He closed the door behind him and fasted and prayed for three days until Ananias, a follower of Jesus, was sent by God to return his sight. Ananias prayed for Saul and the scales fell from his eyes. At that very moment, the Holy Spirit descended on him, changing his nature and his name. From now on, his name would be Paul. After this, Paul went out to tell others about Jesus and all the wonders of God. Many were surprised to see that the one who had wanted to kill Jesus' followers was now preaching his word. Regardless of what others thought about him, Paul preached the word of God to all nations. Even when he was in prison with his friend Silas, he praised God so much that the doors flung wide open. Paul is an example to all of us of repentance, perseverance, and patience, because just like an athlete, he ran the race of the purpose of God, and just like a warrior, he fought the good fight, and he kept his faith in the one who had called him according to his purposes. He made every effort, every day, to tell others the good news about Jesus, making disciples in many nations, because that was his great race.